Hello. Today I'm going to talk about how to draw a curved line of best fit. Now, most often you'll find that a line of best fit should be straight and drawn with a ruler. But sometimes you'll have a set of data where the line that demonstrates the pattern of the results is not straight. So, for instance, these results here, very precisely plotted as you can see, um, no matter where I put my ruler, there is no single gradient that will allow me to, to kind of demonstrate the pattern of all of the results. The best I can do is about three of them like that, but then you can see here that the last two results veer off uh, from the side. Now, I cannot, both of these cannot be anomalies. If I was really unsure, I would repeat the experiment, probably at smaller intervals, so I get more data points on the same uh, axis. But the fact that both of them veer away from the line of best fit, the straight line of best fit, suggests that it should that that is a uh, the pattern in the data, and I need a curved line of best fit. Now I can't draw that with a ruler, so let's get rid of that. So. A curved line of best fit should be drawn in one smooth line, no, uh, no shading or cross hatching or drawing the line over several times to get the right shape. That will lose you marks because it's unclear with the finished piece exactly which line you are, are suggesting is the line of best fit. Now, if you look at the way that your arm moves, now this is obviously inverted if you're left handed, your arm moves most easily in an arc like this or if you're left-handed, in an arc like this. So, rather than trying to draw a graph up like that, the best thing to do is to rotate your graph paper so that it fits whichever is your dominant hand. For me, it's my right. And then to do a single smooth motion across like that. And just like you see me doing now, sometimes it's worth practicing without touching the paper, and then producing one smooth motion like that. Now you can see it's not perfect, I'm a little bit too high on a couple of the data points here, but in most instances, a little, being a little bit off by a few millimetres will not lose you the mark for the curve of best fit. Whereas, drawing something like this definitely will lose you the mark, if, it's, if it looks like dot to dot. I've got another example here of a data set that needs a curved line of best fit. And if you find it difficult to spot with your eye, just get a ruler out and you can see that there is no particular arrangement I can put the ruler down that describes the pattern of all of the results. So, what I need to do for this one, I can see I've got this kind of up and down shape. For me, the easiest way to do that is at a slight angle and then I can kind of do that sort of shape. Um, I'm going to practice it a couple times without touching the paper because I want to do it in one smooth motion and done. And again, that will get your marks for the correct curved line of best fit. I hope this has been helpful and that you feel a bit more confident in drawing uh, curved lines of best fit. There, I have posted an earlier video about straight lines of best fit that uh, complements this one. Goodbye.